Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about the sixth wad of uh, 133, and I believe it's referred to as the the breast guard. All right, and then from this position here, uh, we're in a position to obviously thrust. Okay, um, so the uh, the image basically, you know, it, it shows a person standing like this, and there's a tiny inscription at the bottom. Uh, I imagine that it, it only says that this is the breast guard. Uh, if you guys know otherwise, please post. But, uh, you know, please post in the comment section uh, if it does say anything otherwise. But that's what I'm going to assume that it says, since we f refer to this as the as the breast guard. Um, and and there really isn't much information about fighting from, from this guard. Um, so what we're going to do in this video is, is I'm going to talk to you guys about how I use my thrusts. Okay? Um, now, usually with the with the butler, a lot of times when we make a thrust, we're trying to meet the other person's blade. You know, we, you know because if somebody is in this guard over here, it's obvious that they're going to thrust. Okay, that's that's the that's the most obvious thing that they're going to do. Uh, they're going to thrust. The other person expects it. Um, you know, they'll, they'll they'll block it, and we'll end up with the you know with some sort of a bind. You know, and then we do all our windings and all that stuff, and you know, we're, we're wrestling for control you know of, of leverage we're trying to get the our strong on their weak uh, and fight from there okay uh, so so that's that's your buckler fighting for you now what I want to do is I want to go step behind that and uh, and talk about how I use my my thrust uh, with it with a shield okay because in this channel I, I talk a lot about fighting with shields you know with full-size shields okay so same guard, we're here, we, we're in this, we're basically we're in this, um, you know, the same breast guard over here, okay? It's obvious that we're gonna thrust. Um, the difference now is because I got a larger shield, um, I don't need that blade on blade contact, because when you're fighting with a, with a smaller buckler, okay, you really can't rely on the buckler for defense, you know, kind of the, the buckler and the sword are kind of one, you know, it's basically, it's almost like a, like, like, like a, like a, a two-handed sword. Uh, that that can be separated, okay? Uh, but the two pretty much stay together. With the larger shield, because I have a disconnected, you know, um, offense defense, and um, I can rely on this shield for, um, um, you know, for almost 100% for defense. You know, my sword is free to do other things. So let, let's talk about how I use my thrust with the uh, uh, with the sword. And basically, the basic idea is that your thrusts set up cuts. And your cuts set up thrusts. Okay, um, you know that's how you use your thrust. So, so all your thrusts are going to be somehow connected with a cut, or a cut's going to be connected with a with, with a thrust. Um, the way it usually the way it, uh, it usually works when you when you're fighting. Because remember, if you're in the guard like this, everybody knows that you're going to thrust with with the large shield. They're going to block that pretty easy. So you have to sneak um, sneak your thrusts in. So what I will usually do with a thrust. If I'm, if I'm sitting in this breast guard here, okay, I'll fake, you know, send the thrust up there, they'll block that, and then turn that into a cut, okay? You know, so thrust there, strike a cut up there. Okay, so, so that's how I use my, uh, my thrusts with a, large, with a large shield when I'm fighting. I'm, I'm using it, I'm using the thrust to set up um, a, a, a cut. Now, it can also work in reverse. You know, I can make a cut, pull back, and set up, you know, and, and throw that thrust, okay? With my thrust, you know, okay? Just my, thrust, my thrust there. Um, so that's how I use my thrust. So basically, this this fifth ward uh, of 133 is about thrusting. Um, and, uh, you know, I think, I thought this would be a good opportunity to talk about how I use my thrust. Um, you know, a lot of times I'll set, here's another way I'll set up a thrust. I, I, I want to actually make contact. You know, because basically that looks like a cut, so what I can do is, you know, instead of actually extending and making the cut, I can pull it in and then thrust. Okay, so I am faking the cut, pulling back, and thrusting. You know, I can also do it down low. Um, so, so that's another, you know, that's that's how I use my my thrust. You know, I generally don't sit there uh, announcing to my opponent that I'm about to thrust them, unless unless I'm doing it as bait. You know. Because usually, if I'm holding a guard like this, you know they're expecting that thrust. You know, so in that case, I'll fake it. I won't even extend, and then just cut somewhere else, or fake there, cut somewhere else. Um, so there are my thoughts on that. If you guys have any 
um, you know, anything you'd like to add, any, any other ideas as to uh, how this fifth ward of, um, of uh, 133 can be used, um, you know, by all means, post some comments, um, you know, better yet, make a video, and you can link a video into, in my comment section, and um, if, uh, you know, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, if you're not a member of the channel, subscribe, see you guys next time.